Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Dornier Sea Wings introduces new amphibious aircraft. FAA awards the first STC for a King Air autothrottle. And NTSB releases preliminary report from Northrop N9M accident. Welcome to the show. I'm Sophie Herlock. Dornier Sea Wings is introducing a new product line for government use. The Orca, which will be the world's most advanced amphibious mission platform. The Orca is based on the Sea Star, with its main concept being to enhance typical maritime security missions while merging seaborne and airborne operations. The Orca will be equipped with camera and radar systems for search and surveillance, as well as stretchers for medical evacuation and self protection items for defense purposes. It features an all composite airframe which will make it corrosion free. And with its boat shaped fuselage and water surface design elements, it'll be able to handle rough sea conditions. And the efficient combination of five blade propeller and turbine power plant will make it economical and the fastest amphibian in its class. The first orcas are expected to be ready by 2022. When we return the USNZ Afghan military pilot training program. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for our trip around the patch. A program to train pilots for close air support attack rules in Afghanistan has been shut down after only about 18 months, due to nearly half the trainees going AWOL. Training was being conducted in Cessna AC-208 light attack combat aircraft in the U.S. The Department of Defense has reached an agreement with Sikorsky to begin production of the VH-92A presidential helicopter. NAV Air has already taken delivery of three VH-92As for evaluation and a decision is expected at the end of the month, following a meeting with James Gertz, Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Research Development and Acquisition. WestJet announced 92% of WestJet Encore pilots represented by the Airline Pilots Association voted in favor of a five-year agreement. The vote represents 90% of the 505 WestJet Encore pilots. The agreement started January 1st of this year and ends on January 1st of 2024. Jet Aviation has acquired a stake in the Scottsdale Jet Center. With the intent to build and operate a new state-of-the-art jet aviation branded fixed base operator and tenant hangar by late 2020. The new facility will complement existing tenant facilities at Scottsdale Airport, a top 15 business aviation market. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. 
The FAA awarded an STC to Innovative Solutions and Support for its patented ThrustSense Auto Throttle for retrofit in the King Air. ThrustSense is a full regime auto throttle from takeoff to landing phases of flight, including go around that allows the pilot to automatically control the power setting of the engine. ThrustSense computes thrust, holds selected speed and torque, and implements appropriate limit protection. When engaged by the pilot, the auto throttle system adjusts the throttles automatically to achieve and hold the selected airspeed guarded by a torque and temperature limit mode. Protection modes will automatically activate regardless of the autopilot engagement state in an attempt to keep airspeed, torque, and temperature from exceeding predefined targets, enhancing the safety and capability of the King Air. The optimized design for retrofit allows for no structural modification to the existing throttle quadrant and can be installed in four days. The NTSB released its preliminary report from an accident involving the last remaining Northrop N9M on April 22nd near Norco, California. The plane owned by the Plains of Fame Museum crashed into a nearby prison yard after taking off from Chino Airport. The pilot, only identified as a 51-year-old man, died on impact. Witnesses near the accident reported seeing an airplane flying on a northeastern heading at a low altitude when it performed a barrel roll. After the maneuver, witnesses say the airplane wobbled side to side before the canopy separated. Shortly after, the plane entered a steep right turn and descended in a nose-low altitude. Examination of the accident site revealed a debris path of about 474 feet in length and oriented on a magnetic heading of about 124 degrees. The wreckage was moved to a secure location for further examination. And that wraps up our week, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you're looking for the latest aviation aerospace news, head to aero-news.net. Have a wonderful weekend.